Hey everyone, so in this video, I want to dive into the big question of building a mobile app and choosing the framework for it. So I'm going to kind of compare React Native Flutter and SwiftUI or Jetpack Compose, so the native ones. I'm not here to geek out and talk to you which one is technically superior and give you like a 0.3% performance more on, on native or whatever. I just want to talk about how this impacts you and what you should choose. So, uh, but spoiler alert, I don't think any of this matters. Just choose what you like. It's not a big deal as people make it out to be, but I'll explain more in this video. So first things first, I truly believe that you can build with any of these and make a competent and great application. So it doesn't really matter. First, let's talk about performance. If you want the smoothest and most battery performance experience possible, then you're gonna want to go with the native framework. So SwiftUI or Jetpack Compose, because this is of course, they're built specifically for their platforms and it's like they're speaking the device's native tongue. Next in line will be Flutter. Now, Flutter can be impressive in actually some cases because they are using, uh, they're compiling directly to machine code, which makes it really efficient. And it, ha it has kind of a graphics engine called Skia. I think they're actually using now Impeller and that's the default on iOS. I'm not sure, but generally Flutter apps can be extremely smooth, especially when you're building something with uh, too many, uh, with a lot of animations or something like a game. Now, next one would be React Native because it doesn't really compile into an optimized machine code like Flutter, but it kind of has a bridge. Although there's a caveat here that React Native just released their kind of new architecture, which is supposed to, I think, optimize this and go into machine code completely just like Flutter. So that might improve the performance. But even if it does, it's going to be so minimalistic. It's going to probably be the same like Flutter and Flutter is already pretty close to native. So again, back to my point, it doesn't really matter. Now, here's one thing. Does it really matter? Does the performance really matter for your app? Depends on what you're building. Like if you're building a game, of course you're gonna go with something that's more native or something like Unreal Engine maybe. But if you're building something like, let's say a habit tracker, do you really need that to squeeze out that performance, maximum performance? No, because in any case, even if you use React Native, Flutter, whatever, it's going to be fast because as I said, those are pretty good frameworks. Now there's already big companies that are using React Native, for example, Discord, Coinbase, Tesla. I've used Discord myself and I have never thought like, oh, this is really slow, except the UI, but that's not React Native's fault because that's horrendous, but that's another topic. We're talking about performance here that is completely good on React Native, on Flutter or on the native part. Now for small teams, obviously you're gonna want to go with something like Flutter or React Native because generally you're gonna build with one call base for more platforms, especially here, is where especially Flutter shines here because it actually supports Mac OS, Windows and Linux and React Native will support iOS and Android of the box and it will make it much easier to actually work on your web counterpart because you'll be able to share your business logic. But generally React Native or Flutter, depending on what your engineers or what you know, is going to be the best if you are a small team or a solo developer. Now, for example, I know Flutter and I know it would take not take me a lot of time to learn React Native and Expo, but by the time I learn all of that and get used to these old packages, I could just build something out in Flutter. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the community support. And this is because you're definitely going to run into some kind of bugs and packages, and you're gonna need some kind of support, whether it be from AI, Stack Overflow, or whatever. Now, I think that here, most probably the biggest community is React Native. And I think this is due to the fact that React is used on the web, it's the most used framework. So the, it has interop with those because you still, the logic is written still in JavaScript. I think probably this is where Flutter is the most behind because it's probably the newest, although it depends, like if you're using something like SwiftUI, SwiftUI is also pretty new. So it doesn't really have that much of a community support compared to React Native. And I think that the AI actually works the best with React Native than Flutter then SwiftUI. I haven't really worked with Jetpack Compose to talk about that, but think, I think that Jetpack Compose is also pretty new, so I would say it's probably something like SwiftUI. Now, don't get me wrong, they all have great community and I've been working with Flutter for some time and there has never been a time that I have, haven't found a package for something. Now, there are sometimes frustrating things where uh, that has happened to me, for example, with React Native and Flutter both, where I found a package, but it hasn't been maintained or has been updated in like years or I don't know how many months, and that can break your whole code or it will not work with your code at all. So that's a bit of a problem with this kind of 
frameworks or cross-platform frameworks, whereas something like native, you would probably have that support that out of the box and you wouldn't have the need for packages. Now, there's one big exception that I want to mention here is that if you're using Google products like Firebase, for example, this is where Flutter shines because Flutter is owned by Google. They, of course, are going to put Flutter as a first-class citizen, but there might be other services like I think Posthog did not have a Flutter support, but I'm not sure about that. They might have already added that, but I remember that that you had to have a community-made package to use Posthog with Flutter. Now, my tip here would be to generally check it out, see if the service that you're planning to use supports your choice of framework although i think that right now it doesn't really matter at this point the most mostly it would matter in terms of the bugs and small things um as i said like these small plugins that you would you might need and how you how it would work with ai now at the end of the day i don't think that picking a framework is like a life or death situation like i said you can learn any of these react native flutter swift ui jetpack compose and it's not about the tech or the syntax itself it's more about what you build and what you put out there and that's what really matters building something and putting something out there and i'm curious what framework do you guys use for mobile apps let me know down in the comments and yeah we can have a discussion about maybe you prefer something why you prefer something why you're using something and why you went a specific way that's it for today thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one